Welcome back. I'm Wes Wood, the Income Guy. Thanks for joining me. So far, we've talked about what it means to be playing retirement roulette and poker with your retirement plan. Now, let's focus on the most strategic option by far, retirement chess. The book, Modern Chess Openings, was first published in 1911 and to this day remains as the go-to guide for learning the game. In other words, chess is a strategic game from the very first move. Is there an element of chance involved? Sure. If you make a bad move and your opponent doesn't catch it, you've lucked out. You can undo the error and, and on your very next move, you can regain your advantage. But compared to poker and roulette, chess is by far the most strategic game. And when it comes to creating a plan to achieve your retirement goals, you want one that leaves very little to chance. You want to work with the right advisor to create a true retirement strategy. You want an approach that's actively managed and puts you on a path to victory from the opening move. In other words, you want to be playing retirement chess. And once you make your shift from a strategic focus from growth to now income, you are. And here's why. In chess, you have clearly defined goals to capture your opponent's king and to protect your own. You work towards those goals from the opening move with a strategy that is equal parts offense and defense. You manage and modify your strategy throughout the middle game and the end game, always looking ahead. By the same token, investing for income starts with clearly defining your retirement goals. From there, you work with an income specialist to create and manage a plan to achieve them. It's also a strategy that is in equal parts offense and defense. It's designed to protect your savings, generate income, and allow you to grow your portfolio organically. Let's take an example that I used earlier. You have all your money in stocks and you keep and your plan is to keep investing for growth over the next five years until you retire. Then after that, once you've retired, you change your strategy to invest for 4% income. But as I pointed out, that approach is more like playing poker because it requires you to invest in the big unknown. And the unknown is whether or not the stock market will deliver that 8% growth. But what if you start investing for income right now? five years before retirement. Well, in that case, you're no longer betting on the big unknown. Instead, you're creating a strategy based on things you do know. You know that bond and bond-like instruments in your portfolio are less vulnerable to market volatility than growth stocks are. You can count on them to generate at least three to four percent in income return in the form of interest and dividends. And since you're still probably working and don't need that income yet, you can, you can know that you can reinvest those interest and dividends and keep growing your portfolio. And if the stock market happens to take that plunge, well, now you have the option to get back in at bargain prices and potentially increase your dividend income. The point is, when you invest for income, you have an approach that doesn't depend on just the lucky spin of the wheel. You have a true strategy based on clearly defined goals and making smart moves from the very opening. Make your opening move right now, uh, the right move, and reach out to me directly at retiretv.com or by calling me at 855-776-064 and request your free retirement income kit. Now, let's welcome back income specialist and founder of the Retirement Income Store, David Scran. Welcome back, Dave. Thanks, Wes. You know, it's interesting. Just a moment ago, you said staying in growth too long, too close to retirement is kind of like playing poker. <clears throat> I actually think it's more like playing roulette because you never know where the markets are going to be when you want to retire. And going to an income approach in the stock market, higher dividend stocks, uh, might be more like playing poker. But I, I've heard you say in the past that, that really, in many ways, the true chess game is focusing on things that are members of that thing you call bonds and bond-like instruments. So right. can you explain for just a moment how that is really more of the, the chess side of it versus high dividend common stocks? Yeah, absolutely. Well, when you invest in bond and bond-like instruments, you're, you're investing in more of a contract-based vehicles, meaning you, you know that hey, if you hold this bond or this type of bond-like instrument until maturity, not only do you get the par value back, but you collect an interest or dividend along the way that's set. Um, but when the market does happen to drop, which we all know it will at some point, then you can be a capitalist, meaning you could maybe exit some of those bond and bond-like instruments, buy back in the market when it's much lower. 
And the way to really make money in the market isn't just to, to ride it out in growth like positions, it's more take advantage of when the market's down in value. So that's a great place to start is maybe investing more conservatively and know when to maybe jump in when the market's down. Well, the other alternative to being a capitalist is being a victim, right? The market drops and you say, woe is me, I'm down on paper, there's nothing I can do about it. So I'll, uh, call me crazy, I'll take the capitalist side of it over the victim side any day, right? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of folks that are in my industry and in our industry for that matter, um, really just focus more on the growth world. And uh, they, they think, well, heck, if the market's going up, the answer is we'll ride it out. If the market's high, then you just stick it out. If the market's going down, you stick it out. If the market's low, you stick it out. Mm, for folks that are, that may work for folks that are younger in their 20s and 30s that aren't gonna touch their money for you know, 30, 40 years for that matter, whenever they do retire. But for folks that are close to or, or into retirement, uh, they really need to play this game of chess and get it right from the very beginning. And realistically, what kind of interest rate can people earn today in this universe of bonds and bond-like instruments in your experience? Four, four, four plus percent is, is what we're seeing in the, in the world of these bond and bond-like instruments mm -hmm. in income. But yeah, but yeah, okay, that's great. But you talk to your average broker, your average advisor, and they're going to say to their clients, maybe they, you can earn 2% if you're lucky. So what's the difference? Well, Dave, I think it really comes down to their business model. Uh, they just don't know how or understand the right way to invest for income. You know, there's a lot of different types of investors out there and investment uh, advisors out there. And many of them in our industry focus more on the Wall Street, Wall Street types of growth types of investments and are not specialists when it comes to income. And so they just don't know how to invest it properly. Mm. Final thoughts for your loyal viewers in Nashville. Yeah. I'd say the number one thing to know is that you need to know when the right time to make the shift from growth to income. And the sooner, the better to do it, especially if you're dialing into those retirement years, five to 10 years or so out, knowing when to make that shift and to do it at the right time, which again, is during those very important transitional years, timing. Thanks, Dave. And uh, for next week, please join us again. And thank you for uh, checking in on this episode of the Retirement Income Show. I'm Westwood, the income guy. You've been watching us and I really appreciate you. And please reach out to us and me at retiretv.com or by calling 855-776-0614. Be sure to tune in next week. Hi, I'm Wesley Wood, host of the Retirement Income Show, and I'm founder and president of Wood Financial Group. And we're a local independent financial services company that specializes in creating custom retirement solutions tailored to meet your particular needs. Visit retiretv.com to learn how we can help you create a customized retirement portfolio.